Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daddy Pig and Mommy Pig are looking for Peppa and George. They want to go on a family adventure to look for bugs today. Bugs can be such interesting creatures. Does anyone see Peppa or George in the rock garden? I spot them. They're hiding between these three rocks. Peppa and George love to play hiding games. They can hide one more time before it's time to leave. Can you spot them? I think I see Peppa. Let's get a little closer. There you are, hiding behind that rock. It's time to go, Peppa and George. We're going to hop on our Fisher Price musical van. Which one should we take today? The purple and silver one? Or the pink and silver one? Hmm, I think Peppa wants to go in the purple one. It has her favorite radio station. They're going to drive to the gardens today, where there's lots of insects and bugs to look at. Oh, Peppa, you're on the wrong side. The little booster seat is for George. Peppa helps her little baby brother into the booster seat, and she makes sure he's strapped in properly. Everyone have their seat belts on? Great. Time to go. One they arrive at the garden, and it doesn't take very long before Peppa spots her first bug. Look over there, Daddy! <coughs> Peppa spots a pretty moth that's black with yellow spots, and a snail right below, near the strawberry plant. Mmm, yum, there's a red, juicy strawberry. This moth looks very similar to the tiger moth. Tiny fans, do you remember in a couple videos this spring, we found all of those tiger caterpillars? And thank you to that wonderful fan that helped us identify them. We ended up releasing them into the grass so we wouldn't step on them in our lawn. A couple of them loved to climb up my arm, and it tickled. Let's go back and see what Peppa has spotted now. Oh, wow! Look at that beautiful flower bush! <coughs> ah, Peppa has spotted a huge rhododendron bush. This means we are getting close to the garden's beehive. Look at all of that honeycomb. Those are busy worker bees. These bees feed the babies, take care of the queen, and repair and build the honeycomb. Here are a few fun facts about bees that you may not know. Bees have five eyes. And the queen lays 1,500 eggs a day. There is only one queen in a hive, and she's much bigger than the worker bees. We're trying to search for her. Can you see the queen anywhere? We hope you enjoyed learning about bugs and insects today, and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. And goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe.
the shopping mall. It's time for Peppa and her family to go shopping. Beep, beep. We're here. This place is amazing, Mummy. Oh, I know. So, where would you like to go first? How about... Hmm, the photo booth. That looks very fun. Good idea, let's go. Alright Peppa, you and George can go in and take a photo in the photo booth and me and Dutty, Pig, will wait right outside for you, alright? Don't forget to smile. Okay, Mummy. Yay, Mummy. Look, here's Susie Sheep. Hi, Peppa. Hello, Susie Sheep. What are you guys doing here? We just came to check out the new mall. Me too. Are you here with your family? Yes, I am. They're over in the toy section. Lovely. Would you like to take a photo with us? Oh, I would love to. Let's go into the photo booth. Oh, George, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Let's go. Say cheese. Let's do one with our mouth open. Okay. Cheese. Silly face. Cheese. <laughs> that was so much fun. Yes, it was. Well, I better get going now. Mummy and Daddy are waiting for me. All right. See you later, Susie. Bye, Peppa. All right, George. Let's get back to see Mummy and Daddy. Did you take some good photos? Yes, we did, Daddy. All right, let's go, Mummy. Go where? To the next section in the mall, of course. All right. So, where would you like to go? Maybe George should decide. Um. Toy, toy, toy. Well, all right, that's okay, I suppose. But I do need a new pair of shoes, you know. Oh, right. Well, why don't we go shoe shopping first, and then George can go play with the toys. Yay! Wee! Look at me, Mummy. We're coming, honey. Now, which type of shoes would you like to buy? There's boots and there's sneakers. What do you want? I think I would like some sneakers. Oh, but Daddy Pig, you already have sneakers. Why don't you get some boots? We can jump in many more muddy puddles if you have boots. Oh, right, that's a good idea. All right, and let's get some boots. What idea? What colour would you like? Um, do they have blue? I don't think so. Oh, then uh, I'll just get red. All right, let's get the red boots then. All right, we have bought the shoes. Now it's time to go look at the toys. Yay! Let's go! Okay. What do you have there, George? It's it's my favourite toy in the world. Please, may I get it? Well, all right, as long as it is a reasonable price. Oh, it is a very reasonable price. Oh, hello, Mrs Rabbit. Oh, Daddy Pig, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, it's so good to see you. Are uh, you too? Well, we should be getting going, so we'll just pay for this toy. Oh, look, George, there's a slide behind you. Oh, goody. May me and Peppa go down it, please, Mummy? I suppose that's all right. Yay, you first, George. All right. Oh, look, it goes down into a ball pit. All right, we're watching. No, oh, it looks a bit nerve-wracking. Oh, you'll be fine, Daddy Pig. Come on down now. Oh, all right. Oh, wee! That was actually not that bad. I had lots of fun. 
Don't forget your toy. Oh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Rabbit. Bye. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of the mall. Oh, we will. We will. So, where to now? Hmm, well, maybe we should head back to that side of the mall. You're right. Why don't we go... Let's go to the fashion shop. Good idea, Mummy. Can I please, please, please get a new outfit? Dearie me, are you children okay? Be careful, you know. I know, these floors are so clean, they're almost slippery. Yes, I know. So, let's go to the fashion shop. And you may buy an outfit if you use some of the money you earned from the lemonade stand last week. All right? All right, thank you, Mummy. All right, let's go now. Now, to get to the fashion shop, we must ride the elevator. Oh, goody, I love the elevator. Oh, no, it seems like Daddy Pig will have to wait. That's all right, I can just wait here and then I'll come up after you. All right, see you in a bit, Daddy Pig. We're here. Come along, George. Let's go. I'm coming. Oh, George, careful, dear. Oh, wow, it's quite nice. Oh, dear me, it's a bit squishy in this store. It's all right. I'm not that into fashion, Mummy. I can go right down the elevator and see Daddy Pig. Oh, well, that's a good idea, George. Are you sure you'll be fine? Oh, yes, I'll be fine. Just be careful. I'll be watching you. Okay. Bye, Mummy. Where would you like to meet? Um, how about, uh, at the pizza shop upstairs? Good idea, George. Go tell your dad. Bye, Peppa. Hope you find an ace outfit. Thank you, George. Right now, Peppa, which outfit would you like to try on? Oh dear me, there's so many outfits here. I, there's so many to choose from. I'm not sure which one I would like. Oh, I think I would like that one. You can just try that on. It looks a little bit expensive. Oh my, that is expensive. Uh, but that's not the one I was looking at. Oh, 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 it's this one. Yes, yes, okay. You may try that on. Okay, I'll go into the changing room. Excuse me, Mum Pig. Let me know if it fits. I will. Oh, it looks so good on me and it fits perfect. Oh, good dear, it looks amazing too, I must say. May I get it, please, Mummy? Well, I think it is a very reasonable price, so yes, you may get it. Oh, goody, I can't wait to tell George and Daddy. Okay, well, come along now, and you can put it in the fabric bag we brought. Okay, Mum. All right, now let's go find your brother and your father. They are probably at the pizza shop upstairs, so let's go. No need to worry about me. Oh, hello, you two. Have you eaten any of the pizza yet? No, we have not. Come along now, you can have a piece or two. Daddy, you look awfully tired. Yes, I, I think I ate too much pizza. You mean you already had pizza? Oh, yes, I, I had a full pizza already. I think I'm quite tired. Do you need to use the washroom? <laughs> Maybe that's a good idea. I think I will use the washroom. All right. Oh, look, there's Danny the dog, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. So good to see you. So good to see you too, Ruff Ruff Peppa. Oh, so good to see you. Enjoy your meal. Mm, this is delicious pizza. 
Oh yes, very good. Did you order, George? Yes, I did. I feel very proud I ordered all my own for the pizza, and I made sure Daddy Pig saves up for you too. Well, I'm quite full now. What about you? Oh yes, very full. What about you, George? Yes. Alright, well, why don't we go and... I think we've explored most of the mall now, so let's go find your brother. Daddy Pig, where are you? He might still be in the bathroom. Let's go, dear. Daddy Pig, what are you doing down here? Uh, I just came out of the bathroom. I feel much better now. Oh, good. Now let's get in the car and go home. Mummy, you didn't get anything. Daddy got oh. shoes. I got a new outfit. George got a toy, but you got nothing. Oh, that's all right, dear. I will only get something if I need something. That's a very good way to think. I'm going to think about that the next time I buy clothes. And I'm going to think about the next time I buy shoes. And I'm going to think about the next time I buy a toy. Oh, good. Let's get in the car, everyone. George? Yes, I'm fine. Just the slippery floors. All right, let's go now. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasure. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We were busy in the kitchen baking today because Tiny Treasures had a school project. Learning to pipe icing onto sugar cookies. First we made the dough, rolled it out and cut them into different shapes. There are hearts, of course which Peppa loves hearts, as you can see by her dress. And we cut out some bigger circles, smaller circles. And then if we go over to this container, we made some stars. Next, it was time to make the icing in the mixing bowl. We wanted to change the color, so we used Color Garden Plant-Based Food Coloring a healthier alternative to regular food coloring. There was red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And they had ingredients like beets and carrots to make natural colors. We mixed a few drops of coloring to the icing and then put them in these piping bags. Each tip has a different design. And when you squeeze it out, it makes maybe a flower or a swirl. Let's give Peppa an icing hat. Hello, do you like my hat? Yes, I do. Now it's time to decorate our cookies with the icing. We had a peachy orange color, simple white, and a very light lavender color. Tiny Treasures is doing a very good job. They look like little flowers all over the cookie. You can add as many different colors of icing to one cookie as you would like. And there are many different designs depending on the tip you use. The cookies are all done. It's time to dig in and eat one. I think Peppa wants to eat the star. Which one would you choose, tiny fans? Now, if you like our channel, please help our channel continue to grow by subscribing. It's free and easy. Just click the link below. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Ariel and she's in a beautiful Barbie of Swan Lake Castle. It's a very rare toy. And we just had it set up for our Dolls and Treasures video. Can you see any pictures of swans? Swan Lake is a famous ballet and Barbie later made a movie about Swan Lake. I see some candlesticks and a pink clock.
When Ariel's cold, she stands by the fire, but not too close. She loves to read books. Look at the blue fairy. There's a special surprise. It looks like Elsa's wand from Frozen. And next to the bookshelf is the vanity with a little pink stool. This is where Ariel gets ready and brushes her hair. Let's have a look at the bedroom. Ariel has a little bed that folds down from out of the wall. There's another picture of the blue fairy. It's the perfect size for Ariel. The fairy is sitting on a flower called a lily. And above her bed is a cage with a dove. Let's open up the door and release the dove so it can fly up into the sky. Here is the bigger bed. It's the same color as Ariel's little bed. And what's so magical about this bed is underneath, it also transforms into a pink bathtub. Ariel loves to take a warm bath. It's so relaxing. She likes to put in bath bombs and bubble bath. What's inside the cabinet? Oh, it's empty, but up above, towels and flowers and another fairy. How many fairies did you see today? Oh, Ariel's friends have arrived and they have all brought gifts. We have Bluey, Abby, and she brought a big plate of fresh fruit. Peppa Pig brought flowers for the table. It's time to sit down at the big pink sparkly table and enjoy some fruit and drink some lemonade. And after their snack, they go outside and enjoy the beautiful yard where there are many different kinds of animals. What animals do you see? Peppa Pig is looking at the squirrel while she's on the swing. Did you spot the skunk and the little mouse? They were over by the three stumps. Did you know there was a picture of the skunk and the mouse inside the castle? Did you see where they were? If not, you can go back and have a look. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the ambulance services. Peppa is possibly interested in being a paramedic when she's older. And they're gonna have an up close look at an ambulance. Their friend Kermit is a paramedic. Welcome Peppa family. I'm going to show you our ambulance today. I love being a paramedic. It can be very stressful and scary at times, but I love to help people. And our job is very important. We need to safely transfer sick or injured people to the hospital. Peppa and George, why don't you hop in the ambulance? Peppa sits in the passenger seat, and George gets to sit in the driver's seat. He pretends he is driving with the sirens and lights on. Mr. Kermit, can you please turn on the sirens and lights? Well, sure, Peppa. Sirens and lights are very important for the ambulance to get through traffic safely. All cars must pull over when they hear the sirens. Kermit gets in the vehicle and pushes the buttons for the sirens and lights. Do you see these black switches on the side of the ambulance, George and Peppa? They are for lights and opening and closing the door in the back. Why don't you try one first, George? This first one will turn on the lights. Mm -hmm. 
you can move the switch up to make the door open and switch down to close it. Peppa and George noticed a stuffed animal in the back of the ambulance. Mr. Kermit, what is that stuffed dog doing in the back of the ambulance? People donate their stuffed animals and we sterilize them and clean them and give them to the kids riding in the ambulance. It makes them feel better. Riding in an ambulance can be quite scary and we want to make them as comfortable as possible. It's time for Peppa and her family to go home. They all thank Kermit for showing them the ambulance. Maybe one day Peppa will be a paramedic. What do you want to be when you grow up, Tiny fans? And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Ooh, I wonder what's in this fancy box. It has gold polka dots and black stripes. It's very fancy. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Some new toys. Some fancy Peppa figures called Peppa's Perfect Day Family. There are six members. Let's have a closer look. And why are they dressed up fancy? Looks like they are going to a museum with very old and valuable art pieces. So there's no fooling around. First we have Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa's wearing a yellow suit and a tie. Granny Pig has a sparkly pink dress with yellow stars and matching yellow shoes. Next to enter the museum is Daddy Pig and George. Daddy Pig has a green suit with a yellow bow tie. George Pig has a very fancy blue shirt with buttons and a white collar. Next to enter the museum is Mommy Pig and Peppa. Mommy Pig is wearing a purple sparkly dress and Peppa Pig is wearing a dress with lace and pink buttons and a pink bow to match in her hair. Oh, they all look wonderful. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Hit the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going for a walk into the rainforest. A rainforest is a place where it gets lots of rain. So there are many different plants and animals living in this rainforest. Peppa spots some kind of berry, but Peppa knows not to touch or eat any berries in the forest. Berries can be poisonous and they aren't all edible. <gasps> oh, look, tiny fans, it's a bright yellow banana slug. These guys are decomposers. They'll eat leaves, animal droppings, moss, and dead plant material and make them into soil. They have two pairs of tentacles. The upper ones are called eye stalks and they're used to detect light and movement because these slugs don't have eyeballs. Slugs are very important for our ecosystem and they can come in all different colors. This one is black. I love to be in the forest and I love exercise. Look at all of these stairs we get to climb, Daddy Pig. Oh, wow. This is an old growth forest, which means these trees are hundreds of years old. They are gigantic. Peppa has spotted something growing on the tree. Do you remember what those are called, Peppa?
Let's look at the illustration. They are called bracket fungus. We saw those on our last hike, didn't we, Peppa? We are almost at the end. We walked on boardwalk and stairs the entire time. Someone built this. It must have taken a long time and a lot of work. It's important to stay on the boardwalk so you don't step on any important plants or creatures. It's time to play hide and seek in the forest with our toys. See if you can spot Peppa somewhere in the forest. And if you love our channel, please hit the link below to subscribe. It's very important, tiny fans. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye.